Welcome to the Hero Escape Podcast, your weekly escape from being lost in space, drifting, about to die of thirst, and starvation. I am one of your three co-hosts, Tony Starve, and I am joined by... Holy can I, is there a hope of rescue? Oh, that was one of the lines I wanted to use! I almost feel like we should start all over again. That's just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> nope, cameras are rolling. Uh, <laughs> carry on, carry on. Um, okay, so my name, my name is Patrick Benatar. I know. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. All right. Take on. Okay. Uh, and I am Sad Eye Moody because of our, in lieu of our dedication for this mm, episode. Yes. Got to be sad eye because uh, we are actually having a serious dedication to the one, the only Stanley. Stanley, uh-huh. rest in peace, buddy. Uh, the, wor- the world's a better place because of your ingenuity and fun spirit, and you'll be you'll be sorely missed. Uh, but there's been so uh, much excitement. We're at the holiday season for movies, and there's new trailer releases. We're geeking about, we gotta geek out about lots of things and make some bold predictions sure to be proven wrong. Mm-hmm. We're gonna talk about in our episode today the new Avengers Endgames trailer that just dropped. <laughs> no! <laughs> Endgame! Uh, we're excited also for Mortal Engines and the Aquaman movie is just around the corner. No? Mortal what, Dave? What was that? Mortal engines. Engines? Yeah. Oh, they don't like being called what? <laughs> <laughs> For all the listeners. Yeah. Uh, He's trying to bait me into saying, I think they prefer to be called mortal Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> because that would be terribly inappropriate. But, but who would say that? Good thing we dodged. We, don't, we didn't, we didn't hear it. But we now. didn't say it. We didn't, we didn't say Every time. <laughs> Okay, so all I got to say is, you know, being a nerd is a nonstop choice that I've made for my life, right? And there's lots of things to be excited about. There always is in the world of geekdom. But when the new Avengers trailer drops for the Endgame movie, boom, boom. And I'm getting a text from my buddy. He's like, Dave, 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 Dave. He's giving me a text. I rarely have my phone on me at work. You, like, separate text. You have to watch the trailer. (laughs) There's a new video trailer. And I, I just happened to have my phone when the first one comes. So I'm like, there's a new trailer. I'm opening my phone. I'm watching. And he's still sending me texts. Stop whatever you're doing and watch it now. And I'm like, you're interrupting. <laughs> so I pulled the drill out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyways, I'm watching this trailer. <laughs> and I am officially more excited for the next Avengers movie than I am for any other movie in all that exists that it will ever possibly could be made in the future. You sum them all up. Yeah. And my excitement for this movie is more excitement than any other movie that my imagination can imagine coming out right now. I am so excited for this next movie. Yeah, I agree. I think I said or thought, or at least thought it, I know that I'm more excited just from this teaser than I can imagine myself being for anything else in 2019. Guys, Mary Poppins is coming out. (laughs) (laughs) Like... Are you telling me? Uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, right. You're right. No. <laughs> yes. I think the whole world is just chomping at the bit. That this was totally unannounced, right? The trailer. I had no idea it was coming that day. I it was they fun. had I was, said that they were going to release something before the end of the year. Yeah, I, I was just having a conversation like, man, why are we not getting any trailers yet? Why are we not? And then like the next day it drops. Oh, so excited! So. These people know how to make movies, and they know how to make trailers, right? I got chills watching it, and I know I don't know if everybody did, but I was like, uh, and and uh, the thing that really got me, I think, was seeing Hawkeye again because I love Hawkeye, and uh, ha- as the Ronin character, yes, because I loved when he did that in the comics. I thought, oh, that was so cool. He kind of had an existential crisis a little bit, just some little, who am I? What am I doing? So he gave up Hawkeye, went and was Ronin for like a while in the comics, and the fact that they thought, oh, I love. I love the Russo brothers and whatever Marvel consultants they yes, have. I yes. love you guys. I'm yeah. telling you right now from the bottom of my heart, I love you. That you thought of Ronan <laughs> and, and put him in because he yes. looks awesome. Well, there's so much uh, chiming, people chiming in that there was no Hawkeye in the last one, right? Yeah. And so they they put him front and center in that trailer and they put him as like his baddest self as his yeah. Ronan story arc, right? Yeah. I mean, he comes back, he's like super ninja y, right? He's still obviously, you know, like awesome at shooting stuff with a bow and mm-hmm. arrow, but he's. 
a little and a little bit off his rocker too. Like he's yeah. 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 Anyway, so that's a that's a huge like high five. You know, let's do yeah. a wave around the stadium. We're excited to see Ronan. Obviously, I love when a, they a just... new barber. As well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Making a very good one. Choices. Speaking of Stanley, I think it was him with that machine. That machine, from yeah. Ragnarok. <laughs> please, <laughs> sir. Please, kind sir. So, so who? Uh, okay. Do you think that, that he's he, that he flipped the his lid and, and turned into like Ronan because the took I, out his family? I watched a video where a guy uh, basically went into way too much detail analyzing the trailer. He was picking yeah. out things oh, that yeah, were yeah, of yeah, no yeah, consequence. Yeah. But one of the things that he pointed out was that in the the uh the the voice that's speaking over the trailer when he get it's Cap's voice when he gets to the point where he says we've lost family it cuts to the first time you see Ronan yep so it's like this heavy handed illusion so the question is did he lose in the, them in the snap or was it before the snap because he was gone even in the events leading up to it he wasn't there so was he yeah I think it would have to be in the snap personally but I, I'm I'm not gonna you can see the that, motivation for him see, yeah. to get involved. For the you know rematch with Thanos, if it was the snap, but yeah. right. But if it if it's the snap that does it, do you go off and go on a campaign against criminals over in Asia? No, right. Like you well, probably I, I would be. Oh yeah, because he that, definitely looks like a like a Chinatown place where that scene is where he's that, standing over. Yeah, a, and that's a, a the storyline, right? The whole Ronin thing I, is. I could see that personality, right? Say, I mean, he was a hero with a family, right? He was risking his life anyways. And then when it became down to this, well, now you're going to be in trouble with the government. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just stay with my family. And then if, if, if what we speculate happens, he lost, well, I'm not going to stay here at home and grieve. I'm going to go out and. Yeah, who knows? I mean, that's one of the kill bad guys. Storylines I'm excited about. In an awesome ninja outfit. See. Like that, you know. I love how they back structured this trailer. It starts where the Marvel Cinematic Universe story starts it started with you know really with iron man right i know yeah. the hulk one came mm-hmm. first but really the one that really really launched the the, the universe was the iron man movie and it's, just, and it's like look don't be sad every journey has an end it's part of the every part part of every journey is the end and here's how it ends right and because that's what because we kind of like that's what we're expecting out of this mm-hmm. movie maybe another movie or two but this really is going to tie the bow mm-hmm. on these you know 11 12 years of of awesomeness of awesome marvel movies right mm-hmm. this is really going to tie it up for me after this it's like i can rest in peace and you know like it's gonna be awesome <laughs> i like, i i love it too i don't know if oh. i cut you off or you're making a point of some kind or whatever you know no i was just rambling wonderful um, yeah <clears throat> so i love that <laughs> i mean i think i talked about you this uh that how that teaser was i'm sure crafted together like to be every scene and like you thought about, about the uh lost family and they cut yeah, to yeah, yeah, right. that's what i'm saying was yeah. perfectly put together and even the i i and that guy in that video i saw it too I, I think you sent me the link they um mentions that the, the phrase that tony stark uses no hope of rescue point out to uh, start to me mm-hmm. and that guy said the same thing because pepper potts at one point in the in the Iron Man comics, she her life gets uh, <clears throat> she she gets seriously hurt or something like that. He has to give her an Iron Man suit to keep her alive. Her, but the she gets has no offensive capability, no weapons or anything. But it's called rescue. Yeah, her all, hero is yeah yeah her suit. And I think there was a at one point there was like an image released, like a leaked image of Pal- Gwyneth Paltrow mm-hmm. wearing like some kind of a suit. So I think those coming in, like I think I think you're gonna see rescue. I don't know. I think it's a little bit more plausible. The other theory, which is that is a reference to the mid 1990s TV phenomenon Rescue 911, which was hosted by William Shatner. William Shatner, who played William Kirk, is this gonna Where lead to Kevin Macon, who 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 helmed the USS Enterprise. The USS Enterprise, Enterprise is just... what's gonna rescue Tony Stark. Oh. Crossover. <laughs> the franchise continues. Oh, thank goodness. Boldly yes. going. I am Where no convinced. This is gone. <laughs> I am convinced. <laughs> you have derailed, sir. Say no more. I am convinced. <laughs> also, it's James Kirk. I fumbled a little bit in there. James but, T. Uh, yeah. James T. Curious. Okay. <laughs> oh, but you know, your your pot's ideas also that could, were yeah, viable. Yeah, that now, I feel, now I feel like it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So then it makes me wonder, though, like my brain's all, like, okay, so why is he on the ship? He must have cobbled one off of the parts that he found there on Titan, right? Because that's where he was last we saw him on the planet planet Titan with uh, just a few other of the surviving heroes. Just Nebula, uh, Thanos' outer Nebula, right? Everybody else yeah. died. Uh, 
Yeah. So he didn't have a whole lot going for him there, and it makes me wonder why didn't Nebula go with him? Maybe they went to maybe they. I, but they show Nebula later, so mm. she's still in it, right? But they're not together. And actually, I, I noticed something in the most recent viewing of the trailer, which is that when they show her, they show her go put her hand on the shoulder of someone who is strapped into like the pilot seat in a spaceship in I space. Think that, I so think I, that, wonder I think if, they are together. I think that's the ship, Tony Stark's ship. I think they're together. Because it, it looks, yeah, because she's like mostly a robot, right? So she could just sort of like go into hyper sleep or something. Who knows? Like that's she's definitely cool. outlast them. Yeah, yeah. You, would, you would think so. So maybe, yeah, he's just going to croak. Anyways, it, it almost makes me wonder because how could they not have get, getting stranded? I didn't see that, like how they would start out that he'd be stranded in space. Like I didn't yeah. see that. I was like, okay, I wonder how he's going to get back, right? But anyways, uh, super, super cool. Total, uh, love, they, they show Thor, just one little leap of Thor. I could have, you could have put, mm-hmm. you could put Chris Hansler in front of that camera a little bit more. That would have been just fine with me. <laughs> but- you know, it's rough when <laughs> Thor is just wearing a hoodie. You know, yeah, like, like he's given up on yeah. everything. <laughs> he's put away mother's drapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> super, yeah. super. But, and also the name, I think, is genius because it harkens back to Aven- Avenger Infinity Wars. And. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> Infinity War! Infinity War, War a singular, sorry. <laughs> And it harkens back to the critical line that, unless you watched it six times, you may have missed how important the line is in the movie. I did watch it six times in the theater. Where <laughs> dedication? Where Doctor Strange is kicking the bucket, turning to ash. Which I totally love that they did the turning to ash of the Marvel thing. By the way, oh yeah, like, oh, and the so ten glows it. red. Yes, yeah. and it turns. Okay, so before Doctor Strange turns to ash, he says. In Iron Man, Tony Stark looks at him and is like, why did you do that? Right? And he's like, we're in the end game now. Right? Which, I don't know if you're going to say this. Maybe you were. You look like maybe you were. I don't know what I can't tell. We're just rambling wonderfully again. And then it's a further reference to Age of Ultron. When Tony is talking about his initiative there to surround the world with his bots, he says that up there, that's the end game. Oh, that's so the that's true not the throwback. First time line has been uttered. That's very, mm. very, very true. I think that was also mentioned in that video that we was watched. That, the I, guy I didn't, re- part, I didn't but, recall that. Yeah, which turns yes. out to be such a critical line and, and phrase. Anyways, the end game because people like what Thanos doesn't know. He's like, you didn't ever use your greatest weapon against me once, right? He he thinks that um, Doctor Strange never used the Infinity Stone to defeat him, but he had. He had looked into the future at a uh, hundred and six, whatever many thousand opportunities, millions, I think, right? Yeah, whatever it was, millions. and only one did they win. And so he plays into the one scenario that led them to victory. Doctor Strange knowingly plays into that one strategy, which would be for him to do his best to fight without the stone, give the stone as long as Tony Stark survives. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So he understands. Look, we're in the end game now. We it was foregone that we were he was going to get my stone we weren't going to stop that there was no way we were going to stop that so we just had to play for the end game right the after that the the final round of the bout the whatever you want to call it and clearly tony stark was needed for that because that's what he was able to say so it makes the trailer a little bit more terrifying because the end game was tony stark needs to be alive and here we are he's days away from dying a short of oxygen in space yeah already tension in the storyline yeah well, I, I should be the odd man out in saying that I wasn't as psyched as I expected to be when I watched the trailer. Like, I was expecting the chills and the goosebumps and everything else like that. And for whatever reason, it wasn't that for me. Although, I am 100% sure this movie is going to be a 10 out of 10. I am not concerned mm-hmm. about the movie at all. Just mm-hmm. specifically the trailer, which is almost a little bit of, kind of a teaser, really. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So. I like that they showed yeah. Thanos his hand. The, he's still got the gauntlet on his hand. He's just walking through the the meadow there with the, the glove on, and the Russo brothers, these directors, like they so totally get it. Be true to the characters. Be true to the source material. They get it. They show the, the scarecrow, scarecrow mm-hmm. of Thanos yeah. uh, armor there on the planet where he's retired himself, uh, like he said he would during the other movie. Um, uh, what was it? The movie called Infinity Wars. I went a little too far there. With oh, it. just 
just just quit after the r infinity just hard cut after the r the infinity wa movie and <laughs> because in the comic books it shows that's like a critical a, a iconic scene in the comic books where it shows Thanos' armor being used as a scarecrow, a scarecrow yeah. but in the comic books that scene comes after Thanos has been defeated not after he won Really? Yes. <clears throat> oh. I don't know how much of a defeat it was because it's worth pointing out. Not a single crow in sight. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. You take your wins where you can get them. Yeah, that's you true. Can, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's so, true. But chalk up those wins against the crows, right? <laughs> but what's awesome about it is it harkens to in the end of the comic book. So in the, in the comic books, he is banished on a planet after he's been defeated. To kind of like think about what he's done. As long as I can't, I can't explain the whole reason, but he's there and he kind of gives up his aspirations for self domination because he, he realizes ultimately he doesn't want to rule the universe, right? Like he's defeating himself because he knows he's not worthy of that type of power kind of a thing. Um, hmm. And so he takes a, he just puts, gives himself a humongous time out and just stays and he's just farming on this planet. So he's kind of, he's at this, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, Kind of killing it a little bit. He's kind of like at peace, kind of a, a little escape of self discovery after his defeat there. Mm. Like, why am I failing? Why do I allow myself to fail at these missions? Kind of a thing. Uh, soul searching. And so it gives that feel, especially from the first movie where he says, I retired to a simple island with the grateful universe or whatever, happy that I saved the universe, right? Like, and so he's that one scene showing the scarecrow armor. Tells you a whole lot of where Thanos is at in the storyline. He's he's at peace. He's done, right? He's just thinking about whatever. But the twist is he's still got the gauntlet in this I version. Thought that of the was story. interesting that he. It's like it's. I'm curious. Like, is it? Is still wear it because he yeah. wants to. He hasn't like been fused? shining it and I'm, polishing it. But I, yeah. well, remember they showed it was like severely damaged. I wonder yeah, if it's yeah. like fused to his hand somehow yeah, now or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. A lot I of want, que- I, yeah, a lot of questions. Yeah. Which are will be interesting to find the answers yeah. to. I want to know if that other gauntlet that was shown. Oh yeah, briefly, the prototype. Yeah, yeah, is gonna come into play or not? No, that is they a could make another point of curiosity for me. Yeah, gauntlet that could be. Yeah. I'd love to see more of the dwarf giant, a tree or whatever his name. Is. Yeah, that'd be cool. The little big guy. The little Ooh. big guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So you guys want to talk about? We uh, only have several months to wait, but we can do it. We can keep it together. Folks, stay on target. <laughs> okay, so the other uh, trailers that are out, um, the Mortal Engines, as in Machine Engine, David. I don't want you to get confused. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mortal Razor Engines. Razor Start Your Engine. <laughs> so this is a creative enterprise being led by Peter Jackson, the yes. creator and Who force. Is probably not known for anything, right? Um, so you may have heard of these movies, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbits. May or may not have heard of those. I don't know. They're sort of a thing. The Hobbits? Yeah. Are we Infinity wars in that movie, too? <laughs> oh, I'm so no! Glad, I'm so glad you caught it. <laughs> uh, okay. At least Lord of the Rings you can't hurt. The Lord of the Ring. <laughs> the Lord of the Ring. <laughs> the Lord of the Ring movies and the Hobbits movies. Um, uh, anyway. uh, and it also, it, uh, Mortal Engines has Elrond as the bad guy. Yep, yeah. That's Hugo true. Weaving. So. Yep. Elrond. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Peter Jackson, the and he also did King Kong. But good, I love that King Kong movie that Peter Jackson did. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Anyway, so he he can do. Nobody should go into this movie and think it's going to be short. It will not be a short movie. No. I promise you. Peter Jackson even admits I, I'm not very good at making short movies. Yeah. <laughs> it will yeah. not be short. So the, I'm going to say this trailer is intriguing, but I am not hooked yet. Yeah, there's nothing pulling me to the theater. Right. So. I'm glad that it seems like it's a new idea. Is this coming from a book that we're supposed to know? Is it a I book? don't actually know. It seems like the kind of thing that would, but I don't know. I'm just intrigued by the concept overall. Mm-hmm. When I saw the first teaser trailer, even the idea of major capital cities like London and Washington and whatever rolling around on huge tracks and propelled by steam engines Spider or whatever it is. And- like, I was like, that is original enough and far out there enough that I'm on board. Like, I just. I'm interested to see what they do with it. You know what I mean? You know what I thought of? I feel like I'm a little bit mean for me to bring this up. As soon as I thought of it, you know what I instantly thought of? What? Was John Carter. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah. The city was on a move. That was the whole Zadanga. Yeah. Yeah. It was all on a move. A little bit of copyright infringement there. Yeah, probably. I was just like, violation. so to me, I was like, oh, it's another take on maybe a John Carter type storyline, maybe because the real storyline is awesome. It's been around for years. That's why it's, you know, it's amazing. Yes. But, um, I, so yes, More Legends is, uh, the first novel of four novels by Philip Reeves. Uh-huh. There you go. In a series also called More Legends. And it's futuristic steampunk version of London, now a giant machine striving to survive in a world of running out of re- world running out of resources. So doesn't it just sound like a land a land based version of Waterworld? Mm, I don't. Did know. Did I just totally drop a deuce on it? I'm sorry. There's <laughs> there are similarities in the fact that okay, here's a big ambitious fantasy action. Oh you man, know, the trailer! You see that. the production value on this movie is oh, yeah. off the charts. I mean, everything looks gorgeous. And you, yeah, you know the camera work's gonna be great because it's Peter Jackson, mm-hmm. and it's probably gonna be in 3D everywhere, and they'll be pushing that and all that. But yeah, I just I don't know. It it intrigues me. The Here, plot. I'll, is I'll read maybe these Wikipedia the for synopsis. your reservations too. Like it, you know. I'll go ahead and read these uh, Wikipedia synopses here for you, and then you don't have to go see the movie. Here, oh, okay. <laughs> Part one. The book. No, I'm just <laughs> So it's what you get from the trailer is it's like a chosen one story. She's the daughter of the guy, you know, and she's the only one that can stop him. I don't know if she's so chosen one, but she's the only one. She's the she's their only hope. So she's yeah. uh, the one Neo. Yeah. <laughs> the one Neo. I think that's the lady in the trench Agent coat Smith. with the sunglasses it's in the trailer. Not, that okay. looks a little bit like Neo to me. So and then she's got to fight Agent Smith or Agent. Elrond. Or yeah. Elrond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> We've come full circle. Yeah, Mr. Anderson. I think that it, Peter Wachowski. Yeah, if you're a fan of movies, go go watch. I mean, it seems like one you ought to go watch. I mean, the the production value, the quality of the cinema because it is a movie. And if you're a fan of movies, I mean, you would probably go see this because okay, it's a movie. Captain Redundant. Yeah. I know, I'm sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> I was repetitively redundant there. There's not there's not a ton we can say about it, right? It, it, it's not a story we're familiar with. It's and they've got a, brand they've got new to good, us. Yeah. They've got the wraps tight on it. They're not letting out a whole lot of stuff. I would say if you, thought. yeah, if you like, uh, Peter Jackson has the credit. Or if you have some, if you're on the fence, you should probably just go see it, right? If you want to see a movie. Exactly. He's got the credit with me to be like, if I was in the mood to go see a movie and there was nothing else, I would def- I choose I would one because Peter Jackson has credit with me. Yeah. Okay. That's the credit he has there with you. you. If you're in the mood to go see a movie and there's nothing else playing well, no, or not going not on. Saying, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I, I, wow. will, I will go see this movie. If it was like just, you know, like the last movie I, I on earth. Think, I can't think of a, another, I don't know, some other director. I don't know. So let's my, say it was, uh, no, Ruin Johnson. Uh, and it was oh. the only movie in the theater for the entire year. Still wouldn't go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> then I'd be like, yeah, well, I, it's intriguing, but no, absolutely not. But I set something on fire instead. Okay. Yeah. 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 But. Yeah. Knowing yeah. not, nothing about the movie and not being super intrigued, I'm like, well, Peter Jackson made it, so it's worth seeing, yeah. probably. Okay, do you have any, from watching the trailers, do you have any bold predictions for Mortal Engines? Mm, I'm really hoping at some point somebody accidentally refers to the lead girl as Scarface and gets slapped yeah. or something. You know, <laughs> it's just like a little, it's a little pronounced, you know, a little over the top there. With the, uh, That's how you know she's a real character. She's not just a pretty face. Okay. Right. That's how you know this okay. is a real. Uh, inv- or they go through the entire story. movie and make no reference to it. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever addresses the No scar. one addresses the fact. It's not part of the plot. <laughs> so you make it scar. There's got to be a story behind that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I want to see it just for this. I bet that there is somewhere in there a Lord of the Rings Easter egg. Because you got Elrond and Peter Jackson. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something super subtle, like he's just wearing a ring that looks just like the one ring or something like that. Uh, but, or, or, or his Peter Jackson ring. put himself he loves in those movies. Ooh, I wonder. Will he show up in Mortal Engines? I, don't know. I would say yes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But he put himself. He, he loves Lord of the Rings. Like Peter Jackson is a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, I don't know if he. I'd have to look, but I don't know if he's a huge maybe not so much fan. anymore. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a little burnt out on it, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty years it forced me to do these three Hobbit movies, uh, the Hobbits, the Hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are terrible. Uh, uh, Battle of the Five Army. Battle of the Five Army. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think, let's see, bold prediction for me for that movie. I'm going to say the, the, um, the, I think something unexpected will happen to the girl. And let's see, can I, can I, what if I predict additional naming occurring? More scars? Yeah. Can I do that? That they also don't address in any form or <laughs> fashion. <laughs> Additional Didn't you bandage naming. those? Bandage what? What are you talking about? Significant yeah. scar. More scars. Can I do that? Can, I be my, can that be my prediction? Is that bold enough, Dave? Hugo Weaving gets the exact mm, same scar well. at the end. Or and then an they're like, twinsies. opposite counter scar. Oh. oh. There you go. So when you put their heads together. Yeah. <laughs> they form Voltron a, scar. It forms a map to where the water is. <laughs> <laughs> Try that. Guys. It's a myth, man. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should totally write movies. <laughs> Put your faces together. <laughs> Kevin Costner, why are you in this film? <laughs> oh, that was good. We got to end on that high note. That was not the only trailer, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have Aquaman. The old Aquaman. Aquaman. Okay. So Can I go ahead and say my bold prediction for Aquaman because I want to so bad? Oh, it's just, okay. uh, just brewing. He's going to look at the camera. One, po- Someone's going to be like, well, how do you think you can be the bad guy? Looks right at the camera because I'm Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm Batman. <laughs> you think it's like the Justice League writers on this one again? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the same guys? I hope not. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I just got to say, I love the trailers. I, there's like the most thing that kind of that I don't like. The only thing I've seen that I kind of am not all in for is like exactly how red the love interest girl's hair is like it's a little too red for me but i'm fine with that though because that's kind of sort of the comic yeah I mean, that's source material appropriate so read. i let it slide i don't even, I'm, I'm totally over I'm it this. my wife will love how vividly red it is i bet i'm really curious. i sort of want to show that her death trailer to be like how do you like her hair she'll be like oh it's amazing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, so, so that's what i'm saying i'm totally nitpicking that's like I, I don't even actually not like it so i'm completely excited about it and apparently you're just telling china the movie's already been released and they are gobbling it up over there 100 mil. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Wow. Yeah. So could DC have turned a corner and actually made a single character? Movie I will say, awesome? just from the trailer, it does seem like the writing is better. Um, the story seems better. Like, I'm interested. There's, I mean, the action looks good. It's not so depressing and dark looking. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, filter guy. You got probably lost your job, but... <laughs> it's wonderful, but it's yes, also kind yes. of a bummer that they they only got to this point, you know, three four movies in. Like, yeah. oh guys, we finally figured it out. Yeah, Somebody so. had the sepia filter on the whole <laughs> the time. Whole time. <laughs> Who did this, Jerry? You're fired. Yeah, because okay. it does. It's it, it's notably different, even even judging by the trailer. And they're like getting, the I is... think, back to the things that the that the sort of the core fans do want. I love that you see kind of the uh, the. Uh, an homage to the original Iron Man, sort of uh, orange and green, Black Manta as the bad guy, which is awesome. You said Iron Man. Iron Man. I meant Iron Man. Okay. No, uh, Aquaman. <laughs> um, Aquaman. Um, <laughs> street cred points. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Iron Man shows up in there. No, no. Okay. I meant Mega Man, the bad guy that he's running. Is it Mega Man? Is <laughs> yeah. Or is it Metroid? <laughs> Metroid. Metroid. Something yeah. like that. It's one of those old games. Yeah. Where it's like, it's like the big thick suit with the one arm cannon thing. Yeah. It's like, um, uh, and but Black Manta is the villain. I just think, feel like they're getting they're getting but sort of the you got to give fans some of the things they need. I mean, you don't have to follow like a comic line exactly, but there's things you got to give the fans. Yeah, I, the trailer gives you a whole lot, and I'm watching this the the latest trailer. It's it, I was almost like, okay, don't stop, stop, don't show me so much. Like I'm loving everything you're showing me, but yeah. keep some for the theater, okay? Yeah. It almost seems more like a clip than a yeah trailer. Can I say this too? I, I meant to say this earlier about the end game trailer or teaser. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about end games? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I there's, almost. There's people throwing their audio devices out the windows right now. <laughs> windows. I almost. I, I have a picture right now of someone listening to like this, maybe like on a subway train or something. <laughs> like, like a, and they're maybe like on a, like at the speaker. And someone hears us say in games for the fourth time, and the guy next to him slaps his phone out of his hand. <laughs> yeah, like that. But, uh, um, Shut that filth off. Yeah. Don't listen to those idiots anymore. But uh, um, I almost, in a way, I mean, I want to see more, but I almost hope that I don't see anything more about the the Last Avengers movie. Like, I don't want, I almost don't want any more information. Like, that's it. Let's stop. I want to go in knowing uh, only this. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to know more than what they released in trailers. Like that's all. I don't want to see a behind the scenes yeah. picture. I almost I don't want to see like a true trailer. Like that teaser is like, okay, stop at the teaser. Somebody it's, pointed it out is enough. It is enough yeah. in an article that, uh, at least in terms of the trailers and the movie tones, that right now or next year you could say whatever DC and Marvel have switched places because now Marvel has the dark, depressing, foreboding tone. And then the Aquaman trailers come out, and it's all bright and happy and very marvelly. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. but it makes sense, though, right? And it, it's dumb that uh, it's it's time for Marvel to be there, right? To wrap up this very heavy story. Whereas it was so dumb that DC started off that way. They like, go, oh, let's start off very depressing and dark, and like, no, 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 that's not that's not what you do, man. I think the next trailer for End Games <laughs> should be to the song. <laughs> Anything you can do, do I, I can, can do, do better. better. Oh. I can do anything <laughs> better be than amazing. you. <laughs> and then Batman pops up. No, you can't. <laughs> 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 Just to rub it in, you know? <laughs> I got to say, though, I am. Uh, I wasn't before. I am looking forward to Aquaman now. Yeah. I'm kind of pumped for it. Yeah. So, And I... I'm Okay, I loved the look of the... Uh, Arthur Curry, you know, all tatted up, like so different than what you're used to seeing. Or a kind of a clean, I did not clean cut. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I loved that it was a new take and he was fresh. And I, I loved all the things I saw of Aquaman and the other movies. I thought it was really cool, even though, like, if it's going to be different, I gotta like it. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. And so far, I've liked it. And then at the end of the trailer, yeah, they got sec- so the my host to the right here by showing the classic. Classic, Aqu- uh, Aquaman like comes armor. out in the green and gold, green, the big green. green gauntlet arm thingies mm-hmm. and the, fish galley, yeah, like our chest armor and all yeah. that stuff. What the trailer did for me too is showed me that there's the depth of story in, <clears throat> to this character that uh, I didn't know, which is so it's kind of funny because Aquaman has been around a really really long time, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and we all Justice know League. like the back of our hand, the backstory of Batman. I mean, we've seen that many times. And, and of course, Superman also, Son of Krypton, all that stuff. We know their backstory so well. And here's this other very iconic character. And I'm just like, I had, I don't know any of this type of backstory. It's and so I, very and little. I, I know say, Atlantis. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a I thing, want, right? I wanted to say this too. It looks like they are, I, I, I like this too, that they're going to get like the origin story right about the. Yeah, they're going to the take princess the princess or whatever yeah. going to land and yes. sort of marrying this lighthouse keeper because that is like the true backstory. And I, some, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I care that much, right? It could have been nobody because he's probably not going to be in the movie that much. But I love that Nicole Kidman is, has that part. I don't know if I say that. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And his dad is Django Fett. Fett. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, my dad used to always say, come on, Boba. I didn't understand what he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, so, Boba, get my gun. The actor who played Boba, or Django slash whatever Boba Fett, uh, is the actor playing his dad. So that's, kind of, that's where he gets that Islander look to him you know yeah yeah pretty pretty cool so i love again is there's the the trailer works for me there's a deeper character there's a, a, a possibly interesting story for this almost completely background side ground uh, si- sidekick character to, compared to batman and superman like he's treated mm-hmm. like that way but if you're the king of the oceans guess what you're king of two-thirds of the earth dude yeah you know what i mean like so it, it, there's a cool cool storyline here and a, a pretty cool character i'm hoping we, we get to open up here on christmas i'm pretty excited do for you it. fellas have any bold predictions some point aquaman's walking along he's not paying attention accidentally gets a fish hook stuck in his in his face you know some <laughs> fishermen <laughs> just fly fishing not paying attention yeah. he'll deserve it yeah, yeah. He'll deserve it. He'd be like, I'm just going to leave it there. Or that proves to be his weak point in the fight with the bad guy. You know, like you're fighting the oh, tridents and everything. Like, and then all of a sudden he just the fly around. Right. <laughs> Someone oh, just no. puts a hook in front of him with a worm on it. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. tractor beam. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what bold predictions would be for this. Maybe an appearance by some other DC character we're not expecting. But it seems like it's going to be a fairly sandboxed affair. Yeah. Stuck, Do we know his mother's his... name? Because I hope it's not... Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this. I would not be one bit surprised if it is. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Well, let's see Batman and Superman Hold show on. up in the scene out of nowhere. What did you say? <laughs> Why did you say that name? What did you say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you know what this is? <laughs> it's uh, Okay. So let's uh, see. Her name is Atlanta. Atlanta. 
Well, obviously. Mm. Tom Curry and Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta, not a ta. No, Atlanta. 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 Oh, okay, very good. So, okay. Well, let me give you a let me give you a bold prediction. I think Aquaman. Maybe this is I don't know. Maybe this isn't bold, but we've just talked about how they're going to stick to source material. I kind of feel like there's going to be a a hitherto foreign, undreamt of power for Aquaman that we'll see. Really? And I just did say destruction of hitherto foreign, unimagined. The power to resuscitate a dying <laughs> franchise. <laughs> oh, that, might be, that might be his hidden power. Uh, I don't know if that's yeah. bold enough for you there, Saxon, but that's, that's my bold prediction. A new power for him. I do wonder if the name, you know, I joked about looking at the camera because I'm Aquaman, but I do wonder if the name Aquaman will get said. That's true. Because it is one of those slightly. They did say that in one of the, Did they say it in Justice I League? I know when Batman was looking for him. Did he say an Aquaman or something? Like thinking about him or going to go look him. He mentioned like this, this Aquaman, like the like her stories of this whatever man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to make that my bold prediction. That'll be my bold prediction. That the name Aquaman will get said in the movie at some point. Even if it's just like a quick like aside or a quick like. I don't know. Does that seem you know, like tattooed you know, on his arm? That, like, those, like a lame prediction I would make, Dave. Like, you know? a, like, like you know, one of those like a. A guy that only has his only line in the movie is like, hey, I don't know, some kind of Aquaman out there. Like, you know, yeah. like a guy in a submarine or something like that. I can see it happening. Black man that takes off his helmet. He's white. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already saw that he's movie not white. Movie ruined. Yeah. <laughs> in the trailer, he's not. But that would be a change then. I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, as always, unless you guys got more, any more bold predictions, we're going to wrap it up. No more bold predictions. No more bold we'll predictions. Wait to see. Coming one, soon, too. So one minus yeah, prediction. A few days out. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned, Hero Escapers. We love you. And we'll tune back in with our reviews. See you guys.